yeah so so before going to oh, learn this uh, iterative control statements first we should learn this range object yeah so range is an object generates a sequence of integers so uh, there are different forms of range function range with one argument range with two arguments range with three arguments so here uh, uh, stop value is mandatory remaining two are optional start value and step value so here you can see this range function range of 10 here uh, only one argument that is the stop value so if these are uh, yeah if these are uh, uh, if these two arguments are not provided stop value start value and step value it takes default values right so those are uh, default uh, parameters by default it takes some value if you are not providing so the, the default start value is zero step value is plus one okay zero to nine so always uh, the values in this particular range objects are start to stop minus one because here step is positive so we are dis we are talking about the values in the sequence okay here is an object it generates the values in the sequence case like this this is your object range object it generates a sequence of values right that's what this range function is doing range of 10 it creates an object like this okay start value zero up to stop minus one these are the values generated by this range okay and step value plus one okay right so here there is another form one is start value stop value if there are two arguments in this range function then it first one is the start value second one will be the stop value right so step value are not providing by default it will be plus one that's it okay Yeah. So, okay. so uh, this is, uh, yeah, you can see range of 1 to 11. So, start to stop minus 1. Always you check the step value, guys. Okay. What is the step value? If it is positive, then start to stop minus 1 values you should consider okay you go step value is negative then start to stop plus one you need to consider those values with the step value that's it I, these are all uh, very simple one to 21 step value is one so start to stop minus one that's why one up to 20 you should not uh, cross 20 you should not go beyond 20 step value is one so that's why you are getting all this so here you can see 121 comma 2 so here step value is positive so that start to stop minus 1 1 maximum value 20 right and step value is 2 so we will get this for starting from 1 okay step is 2 so that 3 5 7 like that uh, 13 15 17 17 plus 2 19 again 19 plus 2 21 it is going beyond 20 right that's why we stop that's how it will work that's why you are getting this. Understand? So negative step value also possible. In this case, what happens is start to stop plus one. Okay, starting value is 20. Okay. This is the first value. Last value will be stop plus one. One plus one is two. So here it is uh, decreasing order, right? Direction is right to left. 20 up to two. You can go. You should not go beyond two. Okay. But the step value is minus 5. That's why 20 minus 5, 15. 15 minus 5, 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 5 minus 5, again, 0. But it is going beyond 2. So it should not go beyond this one, guys. Okay. It may be stop plus 1 or stop minus 1. Yeah. So still, the rule is you should not go beyond that one. Okay. Range of 10, 21. Obviously, start here what is the step value plus one that's why start up to stop minus one 10 to 20 which step step value one these are the values right next index and slice operations 
indexing means retrieving one element that is called indexing positive or negative both are possible so here is the uh, diagram you can see this uh, index values left to right indexing that is positive indexing right to left negative indexing so first uh, element at index 0 okay so in uh, positive direction right in negative direction last element at minus 1 okay so this is what the slice operation slice slicing means some subsequence you want to extract a subsequence from the given sequence that is called as slice operation please okay so here is your range function so it generates this range of values so positive index and negative index this time providing positive and negative index right so you can access single element so you must check the index guys if it is out of index then you get the error so then what is the slice operation guys slice operation it will extract uh, a subsequence from the given sequence understand but uh, what should be the range of index same how you have generated the values in this particular range same rule we apply here for the range of the index values understand you should extract the subsequence of that particular index that's what this slice operation slice is on index only understand slice operation on index okay so here colon is mandatory guys colon is mandatory should identify without colon that will be only single element okay so that's about the range function you can see zero colon five so again here also three arguments you need to provide in, in the absence of the argument it takes the default value that's it the first argument is the start value second is the stop value and third of third argument is the step value right here step value is by default plus one so that start to stop minus one that is the range of index start value zero stop minus one five minus one four so that's why you should extract the elements at this index zero one two three four that's why you will get the subsequence zero one two three four right is it clear right now we will just do some uh, knowledge exploration on this it's very important concept that's why uh, let us uh, answer these questions guys r of 3 colon 8 r of 3 colon 8 what are the values is r of 3 colon 8 right now i will uh, write this explanation you follow this explanation guys very important okay now understand i told you that uh, actually this uh, slice operation it takes three arguments right three arguments in the absence of uh, those arguments it will consider the default values am i right all three are optional guys understand in range function stop value is mandatory remaining two are optional but in slice operation all are optional i can use only colon i can use only colon colon like that okay then it takes the default values that's it the absence of that takes the default values right now you see so can i write like this what is the default step value step value is missing am i right d colon 8 colon 1 this is same as this one it will interpret like that guys internally it will interpret like that okay when you are analyzing this type of uh, uh, problems right you follow this approach it will be very clear understand it will be very clear because there is one argument is missing by default it consider one okay now what is the next step guys range of the index values can you say what is the range of the index range of range of the index value range of index values what is the range of index understand here so first you check the step value always you start with an uh, step value right it is positive if it is positive start to stop minus one that is the range of index am i right that means three up to seven three to seven because start value to stop minus one that means three to eight minus one so what are the index values guys which step value one three start index plus one four plus one five plus one six plus one seven seven plus one you should not take because it is beyond the value this is the maximum index you can have now you should extract 
the subsequence with these index guys, three, four, five, six, seven. Now just tell me what are those values at this index? What will be the output for this case? Can I write that as output? What is the output of this one? Output will be the some part of the sequence. Which part? The values at the index three, four, five, six, seven. Now extract those values at index three. This one four, five, six, and seven. So this is the output, guys. Understand? Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven is the output, guys. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. What are the three, four, five, six, seven guys? These are the values of the sequence. What are those three, four, five, six, seven guys? Those are the index values. Are you getting any confusion? So in international certification exam, they will ask you like this guys because they want to make you confusion so that uh, many people they do some mistakes. Understand guys? So in case of this one, slice operation first. Uh, you try to write with all three arguments. Some are negative, some are positive. Okay, then convert all these into positive or negative. Okay, that is one, one trick you can use. Okay, to solve these type of problems. Now then find the range of index according to the rules, what you learned, and extract those values. Like that, you should answer, guys. Now I will give one more question. Now I will use the negative values also, right? Minus seven, colon, minus two, guys. Minus seven colon minus two. Now answer this question, right? Minus seven colon minus two. I told you that all the three arguments they may be positive or negative, guys. Okay, it can be positive or it can be negative also, right? Uh, but you don't bother about whether what is the start value, stop value, positive or negative. First check the step value, guys. Understand? What is the step value? Tell me, guys. Here step value is not provided. In the absence of step value, always it is plus one. Understand? So don't get confusion because here start value, stop value negative. That's why step also negative. Okay? Don't get confusion. Here when the step value is missing, by default it is plus one only. Understand? Step value will be the third argument. After this second column, if you provide the argument, that will be the step value. Understand? That means internally that will treat like this, right? Minus seven. Is it left to right or right to left? That is also important, guys. First check the step value. Then you should identify, is it uh, right to left or left to right? If step value is positive to right, then it will be left to right. Understand, guys? Left to right. In case of left to right, what is the range of index value? Now calculate the range of index. Range of index. What is the range of index in case plus one? Begin, that means start index to stop minus one. That means minus two minus one, which is equal to minus three. What is the direction? Left to right. Are you getting any doubt in this? Simple logic. First, you check the sign of this step value. If sign is positive, then start to stop minus one. That's it. Start value to stop minus one. That's it. Okay. So that means you need to extract. Uh, now tell me guys, what is the range of index values? Minus seven plus one, because always step value you need to add, right? To get the next value, you need to add that particular step value. So minus seven plus one, what is the value? Minus six. Always we add the step value, guys. Minus six plus one, minus five. Minus five plus one, minus four. Minus four plus one, minus three. Minus three plus one, minus two. But it is going beyond this minus three, right? That's why we stop here. Any doubt? Very simple. You remember these basic golden rules, guys. You can answer any tough question. This. Okay. Very simple. First, check the step value positive. Then find the range of index. Start to stop minus one. Now you write all those values with using the step value. That's it. Now extract this. What is the output? Output. Now it is left to right or right to left. That is very important. Left to right. Negative index minus seven to minus three. What are those values? Minus seven to minus three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the output. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the output. So can you get the slice of a sequence using positive as well as negative or right? Are you getting? You are getting both positive as well as negative also using. Okay, you can do other alternative way also. What is the other alternative way, guys? 
minus seven to minus one. Why? Not minus one. It is stop minus one, right? Because here it is positive minus two minus one, which is equal to minus three. Start to stop minus one, guys. You can check it. I have written somewhere that one, right? Range of values will be start to stop minus one. If step value is positive, stop minus one. What is the stop value? Minus two. Again, uh, minus one. Minus two minus one will be minus three. Is it clear? Somebody has written minus one, not minus one. It will be minus three. Okay. So step value minus one. I will give you one example. You learn step by step, guys. Every example there is one uh, reason why I have uh, uh, framed this example. Okay. In every example you should learn something like that. I framed, not taking randomly this. Okay. Now you check, guys. You have added there. Where? Minus two, minus one, which is equal to minus three. Step value is plus one, right? Always you add step value. Start value is minus seven, plus one, which is equal to minus six, plus one, minus five, plus one, minus four, plus one, minus three. Again, if I add plus one, that will be minus two. But it should not go beyond minus three. Understood? Got it? Yeah. That's why this topic I I consider it as very very important, and many people they get a lot of confusion. But you follow the golden rules, you never get confusion. Now tell me, guys, first convert this, convert this into a two three argument, okay? So always uh, in case of absence of uh, step value, that will be positive plus one, right? Now what is the range of index? You should answer uh, in international certification using the same logic. Now tell me what is the range of index, guys? Start to stop minus one because here step value is positive, right? What is the start value? One. Stop minus one means minus three. Right, one two minus three, one two minus three. Okay, uh, yeah. But here, uh, one thing you should notice, guys. One two minus three. Am I right? So here you can see both are if negative uh, index, then easily you can uh, uh, derive this. Am I right? But here one is positive, one is negative. Right? If you get the range of index values. Both are positive, both are negative. Then there is no issue. Am I right? If one is positive, another is negative. Then what you need to do? Just convert the negative to positive. That's it. Convert the negative to equivalent positive. That's it. Very simple logic. Otherwise, you may get some confusion because if you add one, right? One plus one, again plus one, again plus one, again plus one. Always you will get positive numbers. You won't get any negative number, right? Then you may get some confusion. That's why what I suggest you is. If you find the range of index using the same rule, understand? If step value is positive, begin to end minus one, begin to end minus one, or start to stop minus one. If both these start to, uh, first value, last value, they are same sign, no problem. Otherwise, what you need to do is change this minus to positive. Understand? Minus to positive. If I is the negative index, what is the equal positive index? Already derived, derived the formula, right? What is the formula, guys? You can see. If I is negative, negative index is I. What is its equivalent positive index? I plus length. Understand? If element is positive, then uh, negative index is I minus length. You can use either of this formula, right? Because we are all uh, uh, good with uh, positive numbers, right? Rather than negative. That's why I suggest you to convert. But you can convert into negative also this one. No issue. Understand? That is equivalent to uh, one to so what is the equivalent in uh, positive index for minus three? What is the length of the sequence? 10, right? Zero to nine. This is the sequence. How many elements? 10. That is the length of this particular sequence. 10 plus minus three. What is the value? Seven. Understood? Any doubt? One, two, seven. Is it clear, guys? Uh, because uh, uh, to avoid the confusion or ambiguity, I suggest you to do this. First, you convert. If, if they give no argument also, you please convert into three argument first. Understand, guys? For range also, you can do like this. For range function also, you can do like that. Okay? So, for slice operation, I am doing that. Because uh, here, uh, uh, all the three arguments may not be present. That is also possible. 
that's why first you convert into a three argument right then find the range of index check both the signs are same no problem otherwise convert the negative to positive now you can easily get it right one what is the step value one two that's one three four five six seven this is the range of index right now what will be the output guys output output will be a subsequence from index one to index seven right now easily you can get it right index one to index seven this one so one two three four five six seven always you can see here what is happening in case of positive step value you are getting left to right understand you are getting left to right this logic is okay that's it no need to worry much simple logics guys if you remember this right you can solve any problem now i will give one more question guys you do the same thing first you convert this into three argument slice operation find the range of index check the sign convert all to positive or negative then write the range of index extract the value that's it guys no doubt at all right any questions now r of one column r of one column right and now first convert into three three argument here two arguments are missing right here two arguments are missing right here there is only one argument and one column so first column left argument will be start value understand guys here what is these values there are two columns in the slice operation so first column left side you have start value okay start value first column right side you have stop value second column right side you have step value okay here two arguments are missing you have only start value but there is no stop value no uh, step value right then how to convert this one guys very simple very simple logic always you start with step value guys understand one column here what i need to write i don't know step value positive one do you agree yes now understand guys if step value is positive right step value is positive what is the last value what is the last value if step value is positive last value will be the length of this particular sequence very simple okay not 9 guys stop value will be 10 okay i will write default stop value default value shall we write default values Default values. Step value is positive, increasing order. Range of the values is start to stop minus one. Okay. R of no arguments here. Okay. How to convert this into three argument guys? First start value will be zero. Stop value will be the length of that one. Step value is one. this is the default values guys these are the default values in case of positive in increasing order got it in the absence of any of these argument it takes these default values guys understand so because it is uh, positive okay how can you say it is positive first we start with the, this one step value right always for slice operation you must start with step value so what is the default step value one right so that means left to right in case of left to right what would be the starting index zero right what is the stop value length of the sequence guys length of the sequence understood any doubt okay ah uh, in case of negative what is this value step value negative right if step value negative definitely you must provide minus 1 otherwise read set positive okay so what are the default values default values are starting with minus 1 here it will be minus of length plus 1 stop value and uh, this one will be again minus 1 right that's it because here uh, we will be adding 
plus one, right? All of you are getting. These are the default values for start, stop, and step. Okay. So here, uh, if you are not providing minus one, that obviously takes plus one, right? But I am saying that step value is negative, right? That means here it should be minus one. Step value, third argument, right? This one is the third argument, which is step value. Step value is minus one. Deep by default, you have minus one is the start value. Okay, stop value will be minus of length plus one. Okay, and step value is minus one. These are the default values. Clear? It goes to hundred. No, sequence is hundred. Uh, yeah, sequence values, number of values hundred. Then it will go hundred values. Anyway, I will discuss that. No issue. Okay, but let us understand. Here, you, why I am writing ten guys? Because this is the length. R of one column. Here only one argument. First, you check the step value. Here there is a default step value, right? Default step value is what plus one. That's why start value already you have provided. Okay, if you are not providing, I take from zero. Understand, guys? Those are called default parameters, guys. Okay, default arguments. If you are in the absence of that uh, parameter, it takes some default value. If you are providing, it takes that value. Understand? Here you are providing start value. That's why start from one. Here two arguments are missing. One is the step value. Second one is the stop value. So step value by default plus one. A yes, stop value is missing. That's why it takes up to the length. Understand? Any questions? Okay. Now you can do the same thing. Range of index. What is the range of index, guys? Start to stop minus one. That means zero to nine. Understand? Okay. So sorry. Uh, one to nine. Is it clear? In negative, there is some confusion. No confusion. I will give you example. No need to confuse. Because in negative indexing, you are adding plus one, right? Minus of. Here you can see. In case of a negative. Yeah, negative minus one, right? Ah, uh, you will get the example. No worry. First, let us understand. I have that examples. These are the index values, right? Up to nine. So what is the value up to nine? Again, you must uh, practice this one, guys. Then only you will get it. Okay. I'm telling you some generic rules for this one to nine, left to right. Just uh, go there and copy it and paste it. So what values you should consider default? I am discussing that one. Okay. I hope this is clear. R of five colon. Now you can answer what is R of five colon, guys. R of five column will be from index five to the end of the sequence. Can I give the conclusion? Okay. What is the default value? Start value you have provided five. So by default step value is one. So stop value will be the length of that sequence. So that what is the range of these values? Range of index that is from five to ten minus one, which is equal to nine. Five to nine. What are these values? Index five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right? What are the values at five, six, seven, eight, nine, guys? These are the values. I hope you are clear, right? Any doubt? You use this logic, guys. You can answer any question, no doubt at all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What can you give the conclusion from this, guys? R of one colon means from index one, I will get all the. Elements of this sequence, right? From index one, I will get all the elements in the sequence. For example, R of five colon, I will get all the elements from index five, right? All elements starting from index five. That's it. Is it clear, guys? Okay. I will get all the elements from here. Okay. This is one conclusion. Okay. R of colon minus one. Now answer this question, guys. R of colon minus one, guys. Okay. Now tell me how to convert this into three argument. Yes, please respond. 
always you must uh, check which value guys third argument understand always you need to check the third argument whether that is provided or not what is the third argument step value am i right step value what is the step value here guys understand this is the first column right first column right side value which will be the stop value any doubt this is the first column right side there is an argument that will be the stop value am i right that means here start value is missing step value is missing okay step value is missing guys now what are the default values default step value will be what default step value will be plus 1 only okay default step value will be plus 1 is there any doubt okay uh, then what is the default start value guys default start value yeah zero excellent understand guys always you check the step value if it is absent it is absent this value is absent then that will be plus 1 plus 1 means in positive direction right in positive direction if start value is missing that should be zero only this is the stop value don't get confusion any doubt first you learn this guys range of index values how do you calculate it is plus 1 positive that's why start value up to stop minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 any doubt in this 0 to minus 2 guys now understand here one is positive another one is negative you can uh, just convert this into positive that's it okay how to convert this one guys how to convert this one just uh, add the length of this sequence that's it minus 2 plus 10 is equal to 8 0 to 8 i want to extract what which step value what 1 understand step value 1 now just add it 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 any doubt in this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 guys that's it you extract that part you extract that part guys 0 to 8 from starting 0 up to 8 index understand guys 0 to minus 2 you can see here 0 this is minus 2 that is also possible possible guys one 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 argument is positive another one is negative that is possible you want to extract that uh, sub part that sits sub sequence internally your python interpreter also it does the same thing guys understand if you have no confusion directly you can see from 0 index to minus 2 that means up to 8 any doubt yes i hope you are clear with this okay now r of colon guys r of colon this type of expressions are very common in data science case okay data science. for example in data science if you have a data set uh, dependent variables and independent variables first you need to slice them okay basically you should slice it how do you slice that one guys generally the last column will be the target variable how do you get the last column very simple data frame in the data frame last column will be minus 1 like that we use this in data in data science case now tell me what are the default values for this case what are the default values here first check the step value step value is not given that means 1 first write the step value 1 so here start value stop value is missing start value will be zero stop value will be the length of the sequence that's it so then what is the range of index range of index start to stop minus 1 0 to 9 that means you take the value 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that means you will get the whole sequence 0 to 9 any doubt in this that's it this is the output is it clear now tell me guys now r colon and uh, this range r both are equal or not both are same
both are same or different you can see zero ten one is there anything wrong here no no start to stop minus one zero to nine i'm getting this sub sequence right Negative. What is the negative value? You have doubt here. This one minus one. First, you check step value only. Then find the range of index. The range of index you have different signs, right? Then convert the negative to positive. How to convert negative index to positive? Add the length of the sequence. That's it. Now both are positive and step value. You know you can write the range of index values. That's it. Very simple logic. Okay. Got it. So now you can see, guys. This is a sequence. This is a sequence. You return a subsequence of the given sequence. It returns a new uh, object, right? Sliced one. It returns a new object. Sliced one. Okay. Now both are different or same objects, guys? That is the question. You are slicing a particular sequence. It returns a subsequence. Every sequence is subset to itself, right? There are two like subsets. The whole sequence is also a subset of this given sequence, right? It returns. This is a separate sequence, guys. This is not the actual actual R. R colon, you get the same values in the R, but this is a separate one. It is not equal to R. R and R colon both are not the same objects, guys. Understand? That we will learn in deep copy and shallow copy concept. Now tell me R of colon colon. R of colon colon also you will get the same output, right? R of R colon is equal to R of colon colon. Both you will get the same thing. Here, here also three arguments missing. Here also three arguments are missing. So if you convert this into like that, you will get the same thing. Understand? Plus and minus one cannot understand. Where is that? Zero. This one. Colon minus one. Okay. You can see here. So it is the first colon. First argument is missing. Start value is missing, but stop value is given. First you check the step value. Third argument is missing. Right? Zero, ten, and one. Where is that? Zero, ten, and one. 0 10 and 1 where i discussed that 0 10 and 1 0 to 8 is there 5 10 and 1 here why i am taking 10 that is the question because you see here step value and stop value both are missing right by default in case of positive step value stop value will be length of the sequence that is the default value you are not providing right if you are not providing the value, by default, it takes the default value. Okay. What is the default value we are writing? Because we should extract this, right? That's what we are doing. Internally, your interpreter is doing all this. Now answer this question, guys. Colon, colon, minus one. Somebody asked about minus one. What is the thing you need to do? Now you can try. What is colon, colon, minus one? Okay, first you try to convert into three arguments, guys. Try to convert into three arguments, right? Yeah. What are the arguments? I am asking uh, what will what is the output? I am not asking what will be the output. Just I am asking how it will convert internally. What is happening inside the interpreter? That I want to make you understand this. Anyway, if you type it, you will get the output. It's not a big deal. Okay. Now what are the default values? As I discussed earlier, you can see here, in case of positive indexing, in case of negative indexing, right? So always the step value first you need to check, it is minus value. That means it is negative indexing and right to left, okay? In this case, what are the default arguments? Start value is minus one. 
stop value will be minus of length plus one. Understand? Minus of length plus one. I will use the same logic here. Start value will be minus one. Minus of length plus one, which is equal to minus eleven. Because uh, what is the length of the sequence, guys? Total ten values, right? Zero to nine, total ten. That's why minus of ten plus one, which is equal to minus eleven. Here again, minus one. That's it. Any doubt? Are you getting, guys? In the absence of those arguments, it takes the default arguments, guys. Is it okay? What are the default values already? I I have written that. Okay. Now tell me. It is negative. That's why. What is the range of index? Range of index. What is the range of index value, guys? Start to stop plus one, minus eleven plus one, which is equal to minus ten. Which step value minus one? Any doubt in this? So because uh, the sign is negative, right? If the sign is negative, what is the range of index? Start to Top plus one is the range of index values. Just I'm using those formula. Understood? Now you write what are the range of index values? Minus one. You add again minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, and minus ten also. I have to extract the values at this particular index. Understand? Starting from minus one up to minus ten, I need to extract those values, guys. these things are happening internally in the interpreter your python interpreter is doing all these things whatever i am doing like step by step it does the same thing okay yes direction also important guys here direction also important you can see this is minus 1 right this is minus 1 so minus 1 means You are going from right to left. Now you check minus one to minus ten, minus one to minus ten. See the value, right? Minus one to minus ten. Right to left. That is right to left. That means you will get exactly reverse of the given sequence, guys. Okay. That means nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Understand? Okay. Any doubt? Here, what type of logic I have used? Very simple. The conclusions what we learned we used, guys. In case of this negative step count, right? You better convert this index to negative. If one is positive, one is negative, right? You convert that into negative because this is from right to left negative indexing. Step value is minus, right? Then that should be negative indexing right to left. That's why you it is better to convert them into negative values range of index. Right? In case of plus one, if you get any negative values, convert this into positive value because plus one means uh, left to right positive indexing. That's why logically I have used that. Any doubt in this? Why I am converting this minus to plus? Okay. In case of positive step count, if uh, both the signs are uh, different. and convert negative to positive understand negative to positive otherwise you can do one thing guys you can also convert this negative values to positive values okay if you wish you can do you can see here range of index values are negative still it is from left to right that's what i want to make you clear first that's why step value you identify guys if it is positive that should be left to right guys okay if it is negative that should be right to left okay any questions okay minus 1 to minus 1 but output is written 9 to 0 how because here minus 1 right step value is minus 1 minus 1 means right to left direction start from minus 1 reach minus 10 right to left start from minus 1 minus 10 right to left Why right to left, guys? Because here the step value is negative. Negative step value means you should go from right to left. Positive means left to right. That's why I am telling you first to observe the step value. Step value, the sign of the step value will tell you whether you should follow from left to right or right to left. Understand? 
if you convert this into positive guys what are the equivalent positive values 10 minus 1 which is 9 okay 10 minus 10 which is equal to 0 okay 9 to 0 from index 9 to index 0 right to left right to left this point can you enlarge 9 to 0 right to left why i am saying right to left because of this sign guys understand the index may be positive or negative i am converting both the negative into equivalent positive understand but 9 to 0 how to reach 9 to 0 from right to left you should go because of this particular minus 1 third or got it minus 2 in the last example this one okay i will give the example how many how many examples you need i will give you you don't need to worry column column minus 2 this one you need okay now you convert this into standard form what is there two arguments are missing third one is there if it is missing first one will be minus 1 top value will be minus of length plus 1 which is equal to minus 11 minus of within bracket length plus 1 now write what is the range of index range of index values start value minus 1 up to stop plus 1 which is equal to minus 10 with a step count 2 now step count minus 2 this is direction from right to left you should go am i right now add minus 2 guys start value minus 1 add minus 2 which is equal to minus 3 add minus 1 minus 5 sorry minus 2 here minus 2 na step value that's why add minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 minus 5 minus 2 minus 7 minus 7 minus 2 minus 9 minus 9 minus 2 minus 11 but you should not take minus 11 because it is going beyond minus 10 understood guys this is a very good question you can see where should i stop the range of index should be minus 1 to minus 10 because we are using that formula to calculate understand now with a step count minus 2 that's why start value we know minus 1 add minus 2 minus 3 again minus 5 minus 7 minus 9 add minus 2 you will get minus 11 but it is going beyond minus 10 right that's why we stop here now you should extract minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 minus 9 from right to left what are those values 9 7 5 3 1 9 7 5 3 1 is the output 9 7 9 7 5 3 1 understood any doubt if range is very large then how to calculate calculating is the same same formula same formula the thousand or ten thousand doesn't matter here you are finding the range of index right with step value okay this step value will decide how many elements you should cross okay generally step value is plus one this is for explanation sake i am writing all this but you can calculate uh, in your mind right all this once you practice all this you can calculate in your mind okay for example you have thousand uh, values in a sequence okay you want to get lost two values how can you get it that will be minus two and minus one that's it you have to slice like that okay how to do that type of slicing i will tell you this no issue this is clear right okay so for example r of Minus two column. Minus two column, guys. What is this value? Can anybody? Minus two column. Similar type of example we discussed here. Five column. Five column. Here it is positive index. You are getting the elements from five to the last element right here r of minus 2 what is the output 
starting from minus two index till the last element. That's it. Yeah, minus two colon ten colon one. Good. Okay. Now you can find the range of index values. Okay, again, uh, you do all this, you will get last two elements only, eight and nine. And simply, uh, I am analyzing like this. If start value is given, if step value is positive plus one, then I will get starting from this index till the last element. If you analyze that, you will get the same answer, right? That's what you need to do the self-learning, guys. Okay. R of what is this value? Minus two, 10, length of that one, and one. Okay. Then what is the range of index? Range of index values are uh, minus two, 10 minus one, which is equal to nine. Okay. So now I will convert this negative to positive. Okay. Uh, I will convert this negative to positive, guys. Then what is this value? 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8 to 9. 8 to 9 means you will get only 8 9 index values. What are the values at index 8, 9? Last two values, 8 and 9. Anything, any doubt? Output is last two values. That's it. Is it clear, guys? That's it. Why I'm converting this negative index to positive? Because here the step value is positive, that's why. I know that step value is positive, that will be left to right. Okay. Is it clear, guys? Okay. Now then what is R of column minus two? R of column minus two. Can anybody answer? These type of things you should try, guys. Analyze and try and execute and check it. Good. What is this R of colon minus two? What, what conclusion you can give? This conclusion I have given. If first argument is provided, remaining two are absent, then you will get the total sequence starting from this index, right? Now tell me, first argument is missing, last argument is missing, I am providing the stop value. Could be either positive or negative, okay? That could be positive or negative. Then what conclusion you can give? These conclusions are very, very important, guys. Very, very important in especially data science, machine learning, if you want to go. They're very important. Somebody already uh, done some mistake. So understand, guys, this is the stop value only. What is the step value? Always one by default. Step value is one, start value will be zero. Any doubt? Again, you please refer. Today I'm going to share it. Range of index, start to stop minus one, which is equal to minus three, right? But this is a step value plus one, right? That's why what I do, I will convert negative to positive. That means zero to 10 minus three, which is equal to seven. What are these values? Zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? All of you are getting, guys, same logic I'm using. This is the second argument, stop value. So what is the default step value? Plus 1. It is positive. That's why what I'm doing, first I calculate range of index, then I convert into all positive. Then take the step value, add it, and get all the index. This is left to right. 0 to 7, I want to extract, guys. 0 to 7, I am extracting. From this, can anybody say what is the conclusion? Can anybody say what is the conclusion, guys? Second argument is minus two. Except last two elements, I am extracting everything. Am I right? If uh, second argument stop value is minus two, I am extracting except the last two elements, everything in the sequence. Are you getting? Is it okay to all? Yes. Right. Then what is the next target? R of column two. These logical conclusions are very important, guys. You want to become an expert or professional. This analysis is important. What are the values, guys? Zero, two, and this will be one. Right? What is the range of index? Range of index values are 
zero to stop minus one, which is equal to one. That means you will get zero and one. That means you will get first two values. That's it. Right? Any doubt? From this, what are the conclusions you can get it? If first argument you are given, remaining two are missing, then you will get the total sequence starting from this index. It could be positive or negative, doesn't matter, right? Like this, R of five. From starting index five, you will get the entire sequence. That's it. R one column, you will get the entire sequence starting from index one, right? R of minus two column, you will get the entire sequence starting from index minus two. Okay, and that to left to right, left to right. Okay, in case of uh, second argument, you are providing second argument. It may be positive or negative. Then what is the conclusion, guys? Second argument is negative. Step value is positive. You will get the entire sequence except the last two. Okay, in case of positive index, you will get first two elements. Okay, like that you can uh, do experiments on step values also. Right, and here two more conclusions are there, guys. Very important conclusions. That is, if uh, if step value is negative and stop value is one, sorry, stop value is minus one, then No output. Empty sequence. Okay. If step value is if step value is positive and stop value is zero and stop value is zero, then no output. These two are the last two node points. This is all about uh, that's all about the slice operation, guys. i will share this notes now itself you practice all this then what is the self learning activity now you do experiment with the step values guys do experiment with the step values okay what are the conclusions you can see i will write some examples r of 2 colon minus 1 colon minus 1 what will be the output guys you don't try blindly like this that's what i am saying don't try like this blindly first you check Step value minus one. In that stop value is given minus one. That's why there is no output. I can say empty stop sequence. Right? Is it clear, guys? Okay. Uh, this is one important conclusion. Okay. So you should uh, remember this one always. Yeah, that's all about slicing operation and index operations, guys. So this uh, particular material I am going to share. You can also try with the different uh, slicing techniques and all. You remember these rules? What are the rules, guys? First, you check the step value. Again, I am repeating. Colon colon minus two. Where is this colon colon minus two? This one. Always check. This is uh, which argument? First you check the arguments, guys. Colon colon minus two means this is the third argument, which is the step value. Step value sign is negative, right? Step value sign is negative. So that's why what are the default values? It is a negative index, right? Colon colon minus two means this is negative indexing. Okay, negative indexing. So in case of negative indexing, start value is minus one. Stop value will be minus of length plus one. Total length is ten minus of ten plus one, which is equal to minus eleven. These are the default uh, argument values, guys. You are not providing. That's why it takes the default values. Okay. Now you can calculate the range of index. This is the start value, stop value, and step value. Start to stop plus one. Because here sign is negative, right? From start to stop plus one, which is equal to minus one to minus eleven plus one, minus one to minus ten, which step value minus two. 
So start value is minus one plus minus two. Always we add the step value, right? Minus one plus minus two, which is minus three. Again plus minus two, minus five. Minus five plus minus two, minus seven. Minus seven plus minus two, minus nine. Minus nine plus minus two is minus eleven. But you should not go beyond minus ten. That's why we stop at minus nine. These are the index values, guys. I should extract the values at index minus one, minus three, minus five, minus seven, and minus nine. And which direction? Right to left direction. Is it clear? Sign always indicates. Sign always indicate in which direction you should extract. The sign is indicating which direction you are extracting. If it is plus, that is left to di right direction. If it is minus, right to left direction. Understand? You don't bother about what is the step magnitude. Okay, you should always check the sign value. That's it. Okay, sign value. Sign is negative means right to left. Negative indexing. That's why these are the default values you are taking. So now you have all the three arguments. Okay, if you have all the three arguments, what is the range of uh, index values? Already I have given the formula. Then you calculate the range of index using the step value. Extract this value in which direction? Negative direction, right to left. Then you will get this. Just analyze this. That's it. Just analyze it, guys. Okay. Still any doubts? Just you walk through all this.